Welcome to our new video, a new version of Linux Mint, one of the most popular GNU slash Linux distributions geared for beginners, has just been released. It's Linux Mint 21.3, code named Virginia, the last one in the 21 series. And while the new version continues with the Linux Mint's policy of gradual changes and improvements, still Virginia, in our opinion, can be touted as a standout release. Stay tuned. Just like its predecessors in the 21 series, Linux Mint 21.3 is also based on Ubuntu's 22.04 long-term support release and its 5.15 kernel. Thus, Linux Mint 21.3 will be supported until 2027. Still, if you need a newer kernel, you can easily install it within Linux Mint 21.3. Basically. Linux Mint makes it very easy and you can install a newer kernel in a few clicks. The Linux Mint team says that Virginia comes with updated software and brings refinements and many new features to make your desktop experience more comfortable. You can find all the new features on their website and we will leave the link in the description of the video. Here we will merely highlight some of the new things Linux Mint 21.3 brings to the table, the changes that we believe will have a long-term impact on users of the popular Linux distribution. So the first change we want to mention is related to the Linux Mint ISO images, or to put it in plain English, the files that users need to download to install Linux Mint on their machines. Linux Mint 21.3 comes with full support for secure boot and compatibility with a wider variety of BIOS and EFI implementations. Practically, this means, among other things, that now users don't have to disable secure boot anymore on their machines if they want to install Linux. Not only does Linux Mint 21.3 come with the latest version of their in-house desktop environment called Cinnamon, which is version 6 in Virginia, but also Cinnamon 6 offers a new thing. Cinnamon add-ons are called spices. Until now, Cinnamon supported four types of spices, but now Cinnamon 6.0 features a new type of spices, and these are called actions. Actions are add-ons for your file manager's context menu. So now you can download, enable, and rate actions like any other spice, applets, desklets, extensions, and cinema themes. And maybe the most prominent feature in Linux Mint 21.3, at least in our humble opinion, is that Virginia adds experimental Wayland support in the Cinnamon desktop. Just in case you don't know, Wayland is a modern display server for Linux desktops that some leading Linux distributions have already introduced instead of Xorg, a display server that some consider to be an old technology and which is already almost 20 years old. The Linux Mint team says that Cinnamon 6.0 features experimental Wayland support. In the login screen, a new option was added to start Cinnamon on Wayland. The Wayland session isn't as stable as the default one. It lacks features and it comes with its own limitations, they claim. It was added as a preview for people interested in Wayland and as an easy way for them to test if they want to give feedback to the Linux Mint team. So we have been playing with Linux Mint 21.3 since it was released as beta back in December 
and it's been stable and smooth, with no issues whatsoever. So we can confidently say that as soon as the update channel is opened, we will upgrade our existing 21.2 installs. As usual, Linux Mint 21.3 also comes in three flavors, three different desktop environments, Cinnamon, which is kind of a default one, and Mate and XFCE, which are geared toward older and lower specs machines. Last but not least, Linux Mint 21.3 also features a new collection of desktop backgrounds. Have you already tried Linux Mint 21.3? What do you think of it? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. Also, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.